Okay, Oscar, Manny, we both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, look, if it goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay, anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. They call this a dream fight. A good dream, a bad dream, an exciting dream. Let's find out. The Filipino crowd chanting for Pacquiao as he moved toward the center of the ring even before the opening bell. Which styles will emerge in the early rounds? Is De La Hoya here to box or to fight? Is Pacquiao here to try to create an immediate storm or to tactically bide his time and hope to pressure De La Hoya in the late rounds? Good straight left hand up the middle for Manny Pacquiao. The height differential did not show up so graphically at the weigh-in yesterday where De La Hoya was barefoot and Pacquiao had tennis shoes on. Today, they do look four inches apart in height. You can see the height difference here. The Oscar seems to be very intent and very angry. I was see the expression and looking in his eyes. I've known, known him. But he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. But already Pacquiao shows you that he wants to move in, move out quickly. Move in, land a flurry, move back out, out of De La Hoya's range. And the quickness of Pacquiao is a factor in round one. Those two punches have reddened Oscar's face already. They seem to have been the only clear punches that have landed thus far. And it's interesting that Manny is using his footwork. He's using his bit moving around better than Oscar. And Oscar is not firing his jab perhaps because of the early bobbing head movement of Manny Pacquiao. De La Hoya knows he wants to keep his jab going throughout the fight. He hasn't really gotten it going so far. This, this has the makings of being a very interesting fight, and I think as it goes on sooner or later, you're going to get some very good exchanges. But right now, Manny is fighting a very, very smart fight. Well, if there are two graphic impressions from round one, they're simple. De La Hoya is so much taller. Pacquiao is so much faster. And now De La Hoya nails Pacquiao momentarily against the ropes and catches him with a left hook to the body. Oscar needs to do just what he's doing now and use it more, the left jab. But he can't find Pacquiao at the moment. Pacquiao's yeah. movement. Uh, but confusing it, but, him at the moment. But it, but right, it would get him busy watching the jail. But right now, Manny is hitting him with his punches off. That, that momentarily shocked Oscar. I think the speed has been bothersome for Oscar it throughout is. the round, who simply can't believe how easily Pacquiao snakes his left hand right through the middle of Deloia's guard. Deloia lands a left hook. But Pacquiao gets away. He punched, but nothing landed too much for the most part. When you're looking for him, he can't do anything. All he can do is a straight hand or a hook, and you saw what he did. He trips. He doesn't know what to do. Lively, lively, lively. Assert yourself. Assert your jab. Right here, you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left-hand lead of Manny's is he shoot right between the gloves of Oscar and dipping and getting away after he lands the punch. Pacquiao's learning curve has accelerated through the middle portion of his career. There was a moment when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one-note tune. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand, or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed 
as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement, but Manny Pacquiao is using his upper body with movement with his hands, his feet, his gloves, where Oscar's too stationary at this stage here. Manny is a much more elusive target. You know, Oscar used to dominate smaller guys when he was a young fighter. He was always put in with guys a weight, or, a weight division too less than him. He isn't doing it yet. And he hasn't really adjusted to the straight left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. He seems to be expecting Pacquiao to start with the right jab, and Pacquiao continues to confound him by coming straight up the middle with the left-hand lead. He has reddened Delaware's nose from top to bottom with that punch. You heard Freddie Roach telling Manny Pacquiao between rounds, as soon as you feel your back touch the ropes, move to the side and get away. He expects it's a different fight if they're in the center of the ring where Pacquiao's speed dominates as opposed to along the ropes where Deloia's strength could become a factor. There is a little welt on the side of Oscar's left eye where he has caught a couple of right hands. Manny's upper body movement in, in, in defense is very, very effective, let's just say. Oscar cannot time his head movement the way he's moving and bobbing and weaving and dancing in and out. Indeed, Deloia is reduced to mostly trying to go at the body because he hasn't been able to find Pacquiao's head. But he has no head movement at all. His head is stationary. Good body shot. Doubled over Oscar, it seemed. And as you said, he is, he is bending his head so that there is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. Down, Pacquiao lands a brilliant and uppercut and up the middle. Yeah. And if round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao, round two is even more so. Deloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the southpaw style. If you look, to get into fine details, not only the head movement is not, is not that with Oscar, he's fighting coming in most of the time leading on his heels, whereas Manny is operating on the ball of his feet. And somehow, so far, he is neutralizing Oscar's left hand, one of the best weapons in the sport for over a decade. The speed and variety of Manny Pacquiao on offense, the head movement defensively, the straight left hand up the middle. He has carved out an edge in the first couple of rounds against the longer, taller Oscar De La Hoya. Don't look for him without throwing punches because you give him a shot. You give him a chance because of his speed. Jab, 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 and throw. Throw to the body and then up top and then finish off at the body. But don't walk in looking for him without punches. You give him all the chances. Do you understand? Throw, throw punches. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oops. Keep boxing him. You may, you're making it hard. He, now you may make it hard to find you, and he's taking chances. He's trying to make mistakes. Okay. Copy box numbers through the second round show Manny Pacquiao landing more than half of his power shots. This is a big problem for Oscar De La Hoya, who has landed only six of 56 attempted jabs, according to Copy Box. Deloia hasn't really gotten his offense going, and he hasn't solved Pacquiao's game yet. Even though uh, Manny is slightly winning, I think as the fight goes on, I see him becoming even better. I don't, I can't really visualize Oscar doing much better than this. He looks a little slower, doesn't look as strong, body looks a little weak, and as I said, his, his upper body movement is not going off. You're telling me we're going to see a shutout, Emmanuel? I think Manny's going to get stronger as the fight goes on, even though he's winning now. Oscar has no, no defense for those punches. He's just stationary. Why did so many ringside experts think that the fight wasn't even a credible because idea? Because the first guy, we thought he was going to be a bigger guy. And as it turned out, he's just a taller guy. The difference is I thought he would have came in about 160 pounds, as most people. For him, they almost picked up any weight. Then he's just taller, but no, nowhere near where we say stronger or as big as he should be. Boxing annoys and irritates Oscar, he says, and he is very annoyed and irritated at the moment. He is not getting off at all. 
He hasn't thrown a punch in 20 or 30 seconds, and that was a reach in right hand. But sooner or later, he's going to land something. You have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body there. And Pacquiao, following Freddie Roach's instructions, moved off the ropes as soon as he felt his back against them. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya, the product of Manny Pacquiao's right hooks. There's a redness in the middle of De La Hoya's face, the product of Pacquiao's straight left hand. Now De La Hoya seems to relax just a little and begins to find the target with his jab. He might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Pacquiao's speed taking De La Hoya to the cleaners. Now Oscar seems just a little more comfortable, though Pacquiao is still more offensive, more the aggressor in the fight, moving in and out effectively. But Oscar, Oscar's, I think, to me, more aggressive, but the punch with the snap and the speed is coming from Pacquiao. I don't, I don't see the, the punch, the snap in Oscar's punches as much as Manny is. There's a lot, a lot of difference in the steam. And that's because he's uncertain where Manny's going to be. Good point. Good point. He's, you can tell that. Is it also because it's a physically more challenging process to move down in weight, particularly when you're 35 years old, than to move up in weight when you're 29? Absolutely. Absolutely. And right now, you know, and Oscar, I know he's into this tenor room meet or whatever he's doing and things, but uh, to me, he just doesn't look that strong when he does. Wild punches. Oscar is not landing his big shots. Nice head movement, son. Beautiful work. Have a seat. Good. Give me one deep breath. In through your nose, down through your mouth. Come on. You're right. That's it. Okay. Nasukat na, nasukat na. Okay. Laro tayo, laro in mo ha. Okay. Labas, pasok, labas, pasok. Now, deep breath, man. Slow it's down. very slow right now, okay? okay. Now, the faint. I'm going to draw his lead out. Use your feints a little bit more. Manny Pacquiao is the first southpaw Oscar De La Hoya has fought since September of 1997 when he fought Hector Camacho Sr. Pacquiao has dominated De La Hoya in the first two rounds with his straight left-hand lead up the middle. Early in his career, Pacquiao always set this punch up with De La De La Hoya seems shocked and not ready for the left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. Harold, how'd he score through three? That gives him three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, what he's doing is he's turning the guy. Look, right jab, right jab, left hand, and then he moves to the side. He's got Oscar turning. If Oscar can't set, get set, he can't get his punches off, and Manny's turning him. Oscar looks like a guy going out, doing a 360. Three to nothing, Manny Pacquiao based on not only clean punching, Great generalship when he turns the guy. And when Harold was speaking, Oscar landed a good straight right hand, but then Pacquiao came back seconds later with a flurry of left hands. The biggest and most effective punch in the entire fight has been the straight left of Manny Pacquiao's between the gloves of Oscar. Let's see if De La Hoya can develop some confidence in his jab over the course of these next few rounds so that he can bring coherency to his own offense. Oscar needs to work his jab. Whether it lands or not, it'll at least get Manny preoccupied. And then he can land the big right hand, but he's not jabbing enough. And well, he needs to faint. He needs to faint it sometimes and then jab in order to make Manny move and then jab him after he moves. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for Del Oye. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar Del Oye really hurt somebody with the right hand? And he smiled knowingly and said, nope. And that's a factor in the fight. The straight right hand is often the number one weapon of choice for a conventional fighter against a southpaw. For the same reason that Pacquiao is landing his straight left hand. The avenue of the approach is open. It's still Pacquiao's quickness dominating the slower De La Hoya. And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head, at least he'll keep his right hand near the center of his face and more he keeps it up right near the side, they're leaving a perfect hole for Manny to go right through, and that's what he's doing. And that's what Oscar needs to do is keep working that jab. Manny could not time him so much. And even if he doesn't land his ass, he keep pumping him. But Good he doesn't body. jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could 
and you know, backed Delaware with his punting power. There shouldn't be any doubt anymore. And you watch when Manny lands his left, he then moves off often to his own right. So he stays out of the line of fire. He hits it and moves away as soon as he lands it. This is getting embarrassing. It's an event when Delaware dodges a left hand. The Virtually speed. all of them seem to be landing for Pacquiao. Austin looks old and he cannot control the situation. The worst thing in the world is to come back and complain, so I can't handle the speed. And that's exactly what David Diaz said, but David Diaz wasn't the fight of, of Oscar. He could not handle the speed. Oscar said he needed this fight to convince himself whether he could keep fighting. He's got eight more rounds to find out whether he is still a prize fighter. Many experts wondered why Pacquiao took the fight. Looking at the first four rounds, you have to wonder why De La Hoya took the fight. Oscar, when you close up, you don't throw punches. Your best defense is to throw punches. You've got all, his whole body is open up and you're not throwing anything. Throw the right hand to the body. Come on, throw 45. Left, right, 45, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, he's just faster, that's all. He's beating you to the punch, but throw, because if you don't do anything, there's four rounds that you lost. I'm gonna go and he can't read you. Don't, don't just walk in, walk in behind the face and the head movement, and the beard, yeah, a little bit of movement. He can't handle your speed, son. Okay, nice but, and relaxed, man. You keep boxing just like that. Numerical anatomy of a wipeout. Power punches in round four, according to CompuBox. Pacquiao, 32 out of 47. 68% connect percentage. Oscar De La Hoya, eight out of 20. And now you begin to wonder, somewhere in the fight, does De La Hoya have the proverbial puncher's chance? Well, or, or does he have to just rush Manny, uh, br knock him off his game, hug him, beat him up, and the body try something new. If Oscar would just work his jab, keep his right hand in the front of his face, and when Manny comes in, take a half a step back and then punch, he would be effective, but I don't think he's gonna do that. Delaware looked a lot better in May of 2007 against Floyd Mayweather, who was far and away the preeminent fighter in the world at that time, and since then has retired unbeaten. Low blow by Pacquiao, after he strafed De La Hoya with the right hand upstairs. What is the feeling of a fighter when he's in there with somebody who's always beating him to the punch? This is a terrible feeling. The worst thing it is, as I say, to deal, not have the speed. And he cannot, he doesn't block those right hands at all. He has his right hand permanently stuck to the side of his face. And, and Manny just punches us like a wide open imitation. He doesn't anything, There's Manny. no defense. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. And Manny is going to get better as the fight goes, as I said. Well, and, and Manny is getting, still going in and out. He's not getting careless and carried away with the fact that he's doing this. No, it's a brilliant fight plan for Pacquiao. Far more of an intelligent and tactical fight plan than I personally had expected. And perhaps more so than Deloy expected as well. And Oscar just can't get off. Pacquiao's speed is a riddle he has not been able to solve. I think you summed it all up in that phrase, Jim. Well, Oscar used to be the speed that killed. You know, when a lot of the experts... Good body shot by Oscar. Biggest punch of the fight for De La Hoya, and he suddenly gets it going with three left hooks. And a lot of experts picked Oscar to win because of being big. They figured right now he would be about 13 pounds bigger than he is. And they also figured wise. he'd be about four rounds ahead. Yes. Oscar has a hill, if not a mountain, to climb to get back into this fight. Well, if judges are looking for a round to give to De La Hoya. This might be the one, although now Pacquiao rallies down the stretch. And after each round, Oscar gives a nod of approval to Pacquiao. You look much better, much better. 
Come on, Oscar. Oscar, combina combinations left, right, and you're 45. Left, right, hook. Left, right, and hook to the body. That's where you have him. He closes up. Don't get lazy and play. All right, stay focused in the middle of the ring. Slow down. All right, deep breath. You stay, the fight's in the middle of the ring, okay? Size difference in boxing is significant. Manny Pacquiao is showing it's not insurmountable. Dompy Box so numbers far. in the fifth round. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, uh, Manny Pacquiao, known as Pac-Man, threw 86 punches. Deloya threw 65. Pacquiao had a 27 to 8 edge in Power Connects. So it probably would have been a reach for any judge to give the round to Deloya. But you heard how enthusiastically Nacho Barrasane, his trainer, told him, Mucho mejor, mucho mejor, much better when he came back to the corner. A lull of quiet now gripping the crowd as if they are waiting to see what might happen next. The La Hoya fans have found little to get excited about in the first five He's, rounds. De La Hoya has decided now to be a counterpuncher. He's going to try to make Manny lead him and look for an opening. And prevent Pacquiao from countering him as effectively as he has so far. Even a lot of those punches that, that Manny has landed, which is on the cup, if you notice, he's never been worn because Oscar has his cup extremely high. So they're really on the belt line. They're not on really, really, really low punches. They trade body shots. Pacquiao giving at least as good as he gets. When Nacho Beristain asks between rounds for 45s, he's not asking that De Oya look 45 years old but rather that he throws his combination left hook, left uppercut, a punch that's thrown at an upward angle trajectory. That's why they call it a 45. He hasn't been able to land it much tonight. Straight left hand right up the pipe for Pacquiao. Pacquiao throws that left hand in two different ways. He throws a short, quick one, almost like a, a jab, and then he throws the power punch right down the middle. That's still been the most devastating single punch in the entire fight. Neither fighter been able to establish any other dominant punch at all, but he just throws that little left cross straight out any time he wants it. It's almost guaranteed he's going to land about 90% of the time. And as a graphic visual mark of what's happening in the fight, Manny Pacquiao looks largely untouched as we come toward the end of the sixth, and he is gradually reconfiguring De La Hoya's beautiful face. Yeah, the left eye looks like uh, it's going to have a problem as the rounds go on. Well, a lot of critics pointed out that De La Hoya looked scuffed up after fighting Steve Forbes in May. And fighting Manny Pacquiao is something entirely different from fighting Steve Forbes. Wow. Press him, hit up top and then to the body. Finish off at the body. Because that way he's gonna hit you less than just standing there. Come on, throw punches, press him, press him. Press him because he's tired. The few punches that you got him in, got in with, it, he's tired. Manny, you keep the fight in the middle of the ring. You keep boxing and turning them, okay? All right? Here we see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting his straight left hand right down the pipe. Directly, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar De La Hoya's left eye. Let's go, Freddy. Well, we're halfway through the fight. And some observers are still amazed at what they're seeing, although each round has gone by 
with repetitious regularity. Harold, how do you have it so far? I guess you six rounds to nothing, 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Asuka De La Hoya hasn't gotten off to Schneid. He's getting shut out. And Freddie Roach used the key word at the end of round number five when he said, just keep turning him. Because that's what he's doing. Just like I said before, beautiful right jab, nice straight left hand by Pacquiao, and then he turns him. He moves to the side, and De La Hoya can't get set to hit him. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. We're starting to get to that point in the fight already where you're thinking Oscar has to at least knock him down, if not knock him out, to change this fight. And Oscar hasn't shown that knockout power in a long time. I disregard to some degree the Mayorga fight because I was not that respectful level of Mayorga, but he hasn't knocked out many of the top Eli fighters in a long time. Yeah, we're talking Mayorga. Ricardo Mayorga is no elite fighter in my view. No. He's the most willing target in the sport. Yes. Yeah, but but still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd see something more. Yeah, but I think Jim summed it up. There's just too much of everything. He just cannot figure out how to get into the fight, how to hold him off, how to get to him. It's too much of everything tonight. Oscar is, he is maybe trying to lay a trap, but Manny is too smart and too fast for him. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao yeah. is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. And in the seventh round, De La Hoya has zero answers for the Pacquiao assault. No, no, he cannot do anything. He can't Pacquiao is making De La Hoya look old, slow, ineffectual. As though he is a sparring partner. Some of us wonder have to fight over with. whether have to Manny Pacquiao would become the Henry Armstrong of this era right now. He's looking like the immortal Armstrong. And Tony, Tony, Oscar Tony, is Tony barely Weeks throwing is back. Very seriously you wonder if Tony fight. Weeks is thinking of stopping the fight. Yes. Who's looking at Hard shots. Deloya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Oscar's left eye is almost closed. He hasn't thrown a meaningful punch in the middle of this whole round. Pacquiao is closing in on landing 50 power shots in the round. It's the most power punches ever landed on De La Hoya in a single round of his career. And virtually all of his fights have been counted by CompuBox. An embarrassing seventh round comes to a close. Embarrassing for De La Hoya. Exciting for Pacquiao. Está bien. You okay? If you don't throw punches, we're gonna we're gonna throw we're gonna finish the fight. We can't be receiving punches like that, one after the other. Do you understand me? You don't throw any punches, I'm gonna stop it. Right away and you box him. You keep boxing him. Right here you see Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing him. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. He looks like he's he's humbled himself. He doesn't know what to do. He's cringing. Yes, he, he's he cringing. is cringing in the face of Pacquiao's unstoppable onslaught. CompuBox numbers in the seventh round. De La Hoya, 7 of 24. And he threw 10 of those punches in the last 30 seconds of the round. Pacquiao, 47 of 103, including 45 of 76 power shots. David Diaz was closer to being in the fight against Pacquiao than Oscar De La Hoya is at this moment. You, Harold and I both scored the last round, a 10-8 round for Pacquiao. Well, and you heard the commission doctor indicating in Delaware's corner that he will not be allowed to continue that kind of sustained taking punishment without the fight being stopped. The old warrior still trying to hang in there against a man in his prime who is the most exciting little fighter in the world. Little? Big he little looks big fighter. Tonight.
Pacquiao is fighting tonight in the welterweight division. The champion of this division is the almost supernaturally big welterweight, Antonio Margarito. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140 after this fight. This could be the end of the fight here. Yeah, Oscar has no defense at all. His, his, his body language is that he just, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do at all. Well, all good things come to an end. Watching this, you wonder if you'll ever see Oscar De La Hoya near the top of the sport again. It could be that the long and glorious run of the Golden Boy is seeing the curtain drawn here tonight. Death by a thousand left hands. And if in fact the Golden Boy is being dethroned, it's happening at the hands of the fighter who may have the best chance of picking up his identity as the economic bell cow of the sport. Because Pacquiao's following is growing, not just in the Pacific Rim, but in the United States and Latin America as well. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar De La Hoya's past, but he's getting beaten up here. This could be the end of the fight. Hey, do you have a headache? Huh? It doesn't feel Oscar. anything. Oscar, do you have a headache? Are you busy? Huh? Yeah, are you, do you have a headache? Okay, listen, 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 no, no, listen. If you, if, you, if you keep taking punches, I'm stopping the fight, okay? We're going to stop it. Better we stop it. That's, it's our decision, Oscar. It's a decision that we have to take. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? Are you with that? You agree? Yes. One more round, or is that it? Is that it? Right now, you're here to corner is one to stop the fight. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Right it's over. Manny Pacquiao Oscar has beaten Oscar De La Hoya. And it was the right thing to do. This is the last thing of all the choices we expected to see in this fight, which was a one-sided fight for Manny Pacquiao. The victorious Manny Pacquiao knelt to pray in the same corner where George Foreman got down on his knees 13 years ago after knocking out Michael Moore. As I searched the inventory of my boxing memory for an accomplishment as big as what his Pacquiao did tonight, maybe Foreman's win over Moore is the valid comparison. Something so illogical, so unusual, that you simply couldn't have imagined it would happen. A humiliating end for De La Hoya, who had to sit quietly in the corner and listen to a discussion among his trainer, his cornermen, the ring doctor, and the referee as to whether to stop the fight. It took them fully 30 seconds to debate the decision and ultimately to choose to do what you say, Emmanuel, a, was the right thing. That, that's a very bad and embarrassing position to be in. You're sitting in the corner and the entire conversation is about whether they can stop this man from beating you anymore because you're helpless and you can't do anything about it yourself. That's a rough, rough position to be in. And for the legions of Delaware detractors, they get a chance to glory in the moment. How the mighty have fallen. 
Beloy is even greater legions of admirers can reflect on how much glory and honor he's brought to the sport over his 16-year professional career. Here's another look at the stoppage. Nacho Beristain, the hired gun trainer brought in for this fight, finally told the truth to Oscar and said, he's too fast, you can't stop him, and that's the end of that. And the pride of the Philippines again holds his gloves aloft. Number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And here's Michael Buffer with the particulars on the knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we turn a page in boxing history as this fight comes to an end. The official time at the end of round eight referee, Tony Weeks calls a halt to the bout. The winner by TKO victory and still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. It's a brilliant performance by Pacquiao. Larry Merchant will begin the interviews in the ring with the loser, Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much, Jim. Oscar, you said to me a moment ago you did this to yourself. What, were you, what did you mean? Uh, Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter. He deserves all the credit in the world. He fought a tremendous fight, and uh, he, he was a better man, and uh, he deserves uh, all the accolades, and he deserves uh, everything that he's accomplished, and I wish him all the best. Did you find yourself feeling weak from your lower weight because you couldn't respond, or was he just too fast and too elusive at the same time? Uh, he's just a great fighter. I, I have nothing bad to say about him, and uh, I give him all the credit in the world. And uh, Manny Pacquiao prepared like a true champion, and uh, he deserves uh, everything that he's accomplished and everything he will. Are you shocked? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not shocked because, you know, uh, at this at this stage uh, you know when you face a great fighter like Manny then uh, you know it's it's almost uh, expected you know and uh, as long as I worked hard and I trained hard but uh, like I told people in the gym it's a whole different story was he more elusive boxed better than you anticipated him I mean everyone knew he had the great left hand but his movement his in and out his side to side was that what confused you? Well, yeah, I mean, my style, my style is to go forward and to fight. And, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao uh, boxed on his toes really well. And uh, he waited for me to make the mistakes. And so, you know, he, he deserves everything. You said before the fight, in effect, you're fighting to find out if you're still a fighter. Right. What did you find out tonight? Well, my heart still wants to fight. That's for sure. Um, but when your physical doesn't respond, then what can you do? So I have to uh, be smart, and I have to uh, make sure I think about uh, my future plans. It sounds like you're saying you're going to retire. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, I love the sport. And uh, when it's not your night and a true champion like Manny beats you, um, obviously, there's an, another another day tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that, and now to Emmanuel. I'm sorry. Whatever whatever happened. All right. Just to repeat the exchange I just heard, Emmanuel Manny said to Oscar, "You're still my idol." And Oscar said to Manny, no, now you're my idol. Could you have imagined that you would be able to dominate Oscar De La Hoya in this fight the way you did? Well, um, I think um, I did well tonight, and um, I'm lucky I, I, I win. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm so lucky because I controlled the fight in the first round, and, you know, uh, 
you're saying that you saw the pattern of the fight in the first round and you saw that you were too fast for him? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what we were working um, every day in the, at, the, at the gym, uh, you know, uh, speed. Speed will be the key of this fight, so that's what I'm talking about, and I, I use it tonight. So I thank God for uh, giving me the strength. Were you surprised that even with your speed, that he was as open and vulnerable to be hit as often as you hit him? Well, um, you know, uh, like what I said, uh, I train hard for this fight, and uh, that's why I, 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 I deserve tonight. And you know, uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still looking for Oscar is a good fighter, and you know, I respect as, him. As the fight went on, and you saw his look of resignation, and you saw his face being battered, what were your thoughts? Well, um, um, I. I hit a lot of punches, hard punches in the last two rounds, and and, and uh, I don't think he he can he can uh, uh, fight long, lost long, uh, last long uh, until the 12 rounds. So you thought that after the third round, you had him, and it was just a matter of time. Yeah, yeah, but um, I don't want to uh, get get confidence. I'm still um, careful, you know, uh, trying to counter punch his uh, uh, right hand. Like what I said, I counter uh, is straight, and then um, I counter a uppercut or straight to the body, and uh, keep the right hand uh, up because uh, his hook is very strong. All right, just for a moment, Freddie, you put yourself on the line in this one from trying to get the promotion made, getting the negotiations restarted, saying all along that Oscar couldn't pull the trigger anymore, and that your guy would stop him around the eighth or ninth round. How, how how good do you feel? I just know I get the younger, fresher guy out there. I trained Oscar, you know, and I saw him very, very sluggish in the Forbes fight. I thought, you know, he couldn't pull the trigger anymore, and I proved I was right. Manny, everybody was thinking that the winner of this fight will fight Ricky Hatton next. Is that what you're looking forward to, to go back to 140 pounds? Well, sir, um, my job is uh, to train hard and to fight in the ring. Um, I think it's my promoter's job to negotiate or whatever who's my opponent on the next. And I'm, I'm just waiting for uh, the next fight. What do you think is going on in the Philippines right now? <laughs> he is the vice president. He is the vice um, president. Well, um, I would like to, first, I would like to thank all the Filipino who comes here, and especially the, the vice president of the Philippines. And also the the governor Travis Singson and all the congressmen has, are here tonight and all the mayors, every everybody who uh, who's from who come from uh, Philippines. Thank you very much. And I'll Manny, see you. I'll see great, you in Ram Jungle tonight. You're, you're a great fighter and a coming politician. <laughs> well, um, right now I'm so happy because I I deserve my my sacrifices and I thanks God. Thank God for giving, uh, giving me this another uh, victory for uh, tonight. And it's going to be a, a big, big uh, honor to our country. Not for me, but for, to all the Filipinos who love boxing and to all the people who love boxing. Yeah, Thank hey. you very much.